everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. Today we are here in uh, Port Union Lakeside and if you can see a beautiful lake here, very quiet and calm. We just saw two swans here and that's my sons here. And um, I will put the video clip of the swans that we saw. There was two beautiful white swans and ducks swimming in the lake. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and we came here to um, walk and my daughter brought the scooter to go on the, the ride and also uh, to see some nature and the beauty of nature. God's creation is amazing. So I want to talk to you from the Word of God. The Word is taken from Matthew chapter 13 verse 44. Jesus here talks about a parable. He talks from Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 says, The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man happens to find a treasure hidden in a field. He covers it up again and is so happy that he goes and sells everything he has and then goes back and buys that field. So really God is speaking, Jesus is speaking about a parable about the kingdom of, kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven. God says that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure. If you find Jesus, if you find God, if you find the kingdom of heaven, it's like a treasure that you have found. So it's like a man who found the treasure in a land and what he did was he went home and what he did was he sold everything he had, all the other treasures that he had, he sold, sold everything and brought the money and bought the, this land from the owner. So the treasure that he saw in the land was far worth more than anything else. So here Jesus is saying that the kingdom of heaven is like this treasure. So for you and me, what we can learn is that everything in the world that we have, maybe our bank accounts, maybe our houses, maybe our vehicles, maybe our treasures that we value and we think that they are the best things in the whole world is is very little compared to the kingdom of God, compared to the eternity of heaven that God has prepared for us. So that shows that it is so important to, um, kingdom of heaven is far more important than, uh, Jason, far more important than anything else that we can value or we can treasure. So um, it is those days when, uh, when what they do is, when they find treasure, they didn't have bank accounts, they didn't have uh, like uh, safe deposit boxes like we have nowadays. What they did those days is they bury the treasure in the ground. Okay. They would bury the treasure in, our back, in their backyard or in, in wherever they can find that no one will find. So this man also did the same when he found the treasure he buried it he buried and he hid it and then he bought the land so that no one would know and then he got the treasure so really jesus is asking you and me to value and see the importance of the value of the kingdom of god the heaven uh, the, what god has planned for you and me the eternity the great uh, things that he has stored for us is far more valuable than the things that we run for in this life the things like education the things like uh, society um, valuable valuable things that the society says are more valuable truly in god's eyes they are mere dust but heaven or the kingdom of God is far more valuable. So I hope that this blessed you today. And I hope that you will remember that God loves you so very much. And that is why he's talking to you and telling you to remember God, God's kingdom and his heaven is far more valuable than anything you can treasure. So if you have never accepted Jesus, that's the best thing that you can, you can have in your life. All the other things would not value anything much, but, but God's kingdom, accepting Jesus into your heart is far more valuable than anything else. So if you have never accepted Jesus, ask him to come into your heart today, ask him to stay in your heart, ask him to forgive your sins, and he will come in and he will give you eternal life. I hope this blessed you today. Let's pray. Father, we come to this beautiful morning 
God, we thank you for the nature. We, we hear the waves around us. We hear the birds singing. Lord, we hear the nature worshipping you and praising you, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would touch our hearts, that we would remember knowing you outweighs everything else. Knowing you is more treasurable. It's like a diamond. It's like a valuable thing to know you, Jesus. So, Lord, I pray that we would treasure it in our hearts, that we will appreciate it, that, Lord Jesus, we would share it with others, Lord Jesus, because when, if you, if anyone found, finds Jesus, they have found everything that they need. So, Lord, we thank you. We love you. We glorify you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you today. Um, do you have a song to sing, children? Yes. Uh, shall we sing, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Can you know that song? Thy word is yeah. a lamp unto my feet. Come home. Come here, we'll both sing. That's my son, Daniel. All right. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When I feel afraid, think I've lost my way, still you're there right beside me. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me to the end. Oh, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. All right, everyone have a good weekend with your family. We are having a fun time. What are you doing? Put, put your mouth. Uh, say bye to everyone. Bye. bye. We're going to the park and also we will bye. Oh, bye. see a helicopter bye. going up as well. All right, I'll put some pictures of the swans we saw later in the slide. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Saturday. Remember, when you found God, it is, when you find Jesus, it's like you found a treasure, a hidden gem. So treasure it and value it. God bless you. Bye.